everyone thanks so much for coming back to my channel this is tina with tina's craft creations i am on today as part of a youtube hop uh, bethany over at your crafty bff reached out to me and some other ladies about doing a um like a packaging type of youtube hop so uh, we're gonna try to give everyone ideas for um, how to package up your swaps or how to package package up happy mail and things like that now at the time of my filming i don't know if there's a name for this youtube hop i'm so sorry uh, i just wanted to go ahead and get my video filmed but um, I will list it in the title of the video if there is a name that we decide on before everyone posts and of course everyone that is going to be participating in the YouTube pop I will have them linked down below in the description box so like I said I went ahead and made my project I just wanted to go ahead and knock it out while I had some things going on in my head that I wanted to plan out for this and um, what I made today are some decorated glassine bags. So you guys, if you do follow me, you probably will have seen these types of things before, um, but I have not made them in a while and I'm so sorry that Joplin is probably gonna knock on the tripod. <laughs> um, but uh, I do like to take glassine bags every so often and decorate them and these are really good for Happy Mail and I'm gonna show you some examples here in a second. Now I am working with the Simple Stories um, Summer Snapshots Collection. And um, I went ahead and turned these glassine bags into little shakers on the front. So what I did was I just took paper from the um, collection, put some acetate down, stitched it on, added some um, some uh, sequins. The sequin mixes that I'm using um, are either from my sh my stuff that I've made um, or Rachel Tallman's sequin mixes. And I did use um, things from the collection to decorate this, like uh, stickers from the sticker book, enamel dots, things like that. So you'll see a, a variety of different things that I used for all of the bags. I made six total. So this is the larger of the ones that I have. And these are just little glassine bags. And I do fold over the, um, the glassine bag whenever I'm putting my image down so that way I know that there is still room to uh, seal it. Now these types of bags are really nice for gifting things like stickers and embellishments so if you're wanting to gift someone some things in your um, happy mail swap or whatever you can just take them put them into the little glassine bag seal it up with some um, washi tape and there you go you have a beautiful package and you are gifting some gifty um gifting some crafty items to your swap partner or uh, if you're sending it off in a rack or whatever. So that's the first one I made and I did make two of these in this size. So again, these are perfect for um, packages like this. So stickers from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, things like that. Um, these are also really nice if you are sending off um, like a big, like if you're, say you're in a swap where you have to send a bunch of die cuts, which I know a lot of ladies do have that as sort of a requirement for their, um, for their swaps. So say for example, you're, um, in a swap and you have to send off a bunch of die cuts. These types of bags are perfect for that. So I just have some sitting here in my desk that I just made recently. You could put your die cuts in here and you have them packaged up nicely again you just seal the seal the back with some washi tape and your um, die cuts are safely inside and the recipient can easily reuse this um, bag as long as you know it doesn't rip or anything they could easily reuse this for packaging for um, something maybe they've made as well so really really good for die cuts and larger um, embellishments that you want to send to your happy mail partner or a rack or whatever um, or if you're again if you're participating in a swap um, i also made two like medium shaped ones or medium sized ones this is um again this is again um just a uh, a slightly smaller size than the one i showed you but I made two of these and again, I turned them into shakers using um, acetate and sequins from my mixes that I've made and also some from Rachel Tallman. Um, again, this is going to be, a it, it would actually fit this uh, in it as well. So if you want to send a single pack of stickers or um, jemmies or something like that, again, this makes a really nice little package for um, things that you want to send to um, a friend or a, a rack or uh, in a swap if you're doing like a, a swap. These are also really nice for flatter type of embellishments. So I also have some other embellishments here that I've made recently. So these are just some little like label embellishments that I've made. So say you want to send these off to a swap partner or a um, 
if you're again if you're in a swap that you have to send like some flat embellishments or if you want to do some flat mail or something this um these will easily fit in there i have a bunch of them that i just have sitting here on my desk so these will easily fit and again it's still fairly flat you can easily seal this with some washi tape and again you just have a really cute little package for um happy mail so um, those are, uh, these little bags are just very um, versatile in regards to what you can put in them. And um, again, all you have to do is just cut a piece of paper. I just use, um, I just hold the paper up to my bag. I use a pencil and I mark it and then I cut it down and then I just sew a piece of acetate on and put the sequins inside and um, you don't even have to turn it into a shaker if you don't want to do that. Um, these are more for like flatter type of things because obviously once you put it in and you don't want to make these too um too bulky so i do tend to put like very flat embellishments on these types of bags just because um once you add the paper backing this becomes a little bit more stiff so you can't fit anything in there that's going to be like bending or anything like that so you don't want to make it too bulky because then it's harder to get it inside so these are really, really good for flat meal type of situations. Um, and then this is, again, the other one that I made in that size. All right, and I did make a couple smaller ones. So this is the first one. Again, you can use these for things like uh, enamel dots. So say, for example, you want to send some enamel dots to your friend or swap partner. Um, these will easily fit inside. And um, this is a, a great way to gift your um, your swap partner or um, friend or a rack or whatever with some nice little gifts and they will also also fit the flat um, embellishments um, so you can put, put your little embellishments in here die cuts if you're doing a swap where die cuts are required or if you just like to send die cuts or flat embellishments like these flowers um, again these are really really nice for flat type of situations flat meal. Um, and then this is the other one I made. Again, um, you don't have to make them into shakers. I just happen to make mine into shakers. These are also really nice if you want to send some like flat cabochons. So I just have this pack here from Magical Mixery Store. These will easily fit as well. Um, obviously, you could um, fold down the little packaging that they come in and then seal it. And there you go. You have a nice little package for um, your friend or swap partner or whatever. So um, this is just my packaging idea for anyone that wants to um, kind of elevate their um, like maybe flat mail or die cuts uh, gifting or if you want to have just packaging for things like this or things like this. Um, this is just an idea for you. Um, these are super easy to make and you can buy glassine bags in like bulk on Amazon. I usually buy packs of them where they come with like 50 or 100 and I get them in different sizes and then you can decorate them obviously or you can just leave them blank and maybe just add like a pre-made embellishment that you already have and just put one on the front and there you go you have a cute little package for your um, swap partner so that is my gifting uh, my my happy meal packaging idea for you if you've not tried this before um so yeah, like I said, I will link any everyone down below that is participating in this YouTube hop. And if anyone does have any questions, please let me know. If you've done already, I'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.